Uh, a question from Isaac Heating. Um, that's just coming up on the chat there. I'll just uh, minimize that. As a service tech, how can I calculate velocity in the field? Um, I guess the, uh, the simplest way, and uh, it depends whether you've got a PC when you're out in the field, but within Cool Selector, we do have a, uh, a pipework section that you can uh, that you can put in the the length of pipe, the duty, the evaporating temperature, things like that, and it will give you an approximate pipe size um, that you need on that piece of kit. So uh, that would be the way that I mean, I drag my my computer around with me ev everywhere I go, um, and and that's what I generally use. So that would be the way that I would do it. Um, a lot of it comes down to you know common sense. Um, I've been in the industry. Uh, yeah, as I said, many, many years. So uh, you sort of get used to, uh, is that the right size? You know, three eighths, five eighths, uh, three quarters, seven eighths, inch and eighth. You, you get a general feel for, is that right or is that wrong? Um, but really the only way, if you, if you don't have that, let's say experience is to uh, use a, a tool and we have that functionality within the Danfoss Call Selector software just on uh, pipe size. So, um, and I can, uh, yeah, we can, uh, uh, let's, let's look at, uh, let's look at that briefly. So if we can just swap to the call selector screen again, um, we'll see it here. We've got the option for, for piping. So we click the, uh, the piping tab and we click on our diagram to decide where we are. So are we suction line, are we discharge line, liquid line? Let's go uh, suction line, choose our refrigerant. Um, I don't know, let's go for uh, 449A, for example. And then you can basically, and you can get this quite uh, detailed, so you can decide whether it's uh, stainless steel pipe, copper pipe, um, what the uh, maximum working pressure is, et cetera, et cetera. I'll just go with a uh, copper pipe, look at our cooling capacity, uh, evaporating temperature, condensing temperature, blah, 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 blah. And it will basically give you, and you can see here it's highlighted 15 mil, and it's giving you a velocity. Now, uh, I like selection software, but I don't like selection software because it's only as good as the person who uh, uses it. Now, the velocity here is 3.5 meters a second. For a suction line, I think that's a little bit low. I'd rather it be up at sort of six meters a second to get the oil back. Um, we have this sort of rule of thumb that anywhere between sort of four and six on a, a, on a horizontal line it is absolutely fine. Um, me, I'd probably go to uh, the uh, the 12, so we get the velocity up a bit, get more oil back to the machine. So it's a very sort of quick and easy way to do it, and you can decide, you know, whether it is uh, vertical, horizontal, and all those sort of things. But I won't go into it in in too much depth. But there is that functionality within Cool Selector. <laughs> 